Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. It is currently Wednesday when I am filming this video because I'm actually headed over to Seattle, Washington, bright and early tomorrow morning, Thursday, to take a real estate class for all of Friday. So I won't be here for my regular workshop. So I decided to pop into the Wednesday morning workshop. I'm gonna weigh in, stay, hear what the topic is for the week, and I am a busy girl today just trying to get everything in order for my trip. But I wanted to hop on really quick and let you guys kinda know how my week went. So my week overall so far, it's not quite been a week, it's only Wednesday, it has been good. It's been good. I had one day where I was a little bit off track, but overall my week has been pretty good. I was a little bit sick with a cold slash stomach issue on Monday, so I did not go to Jazzercise. So I have not been to Jazzercise since Thanksgiving, but I am going today and I am so excited. And I'm even thinking of going tomorrow morning, Thursday, before I head out of town for the weekend. So I plan on picking right back up where I left off now that I'm feeling a little bit better as far as Jazzercise goes. But overall, my food went pretty good for the week. I was able to get back on track after Thanksgiving, which is always a good thing. So since it is Wednesday and I'm here, I'm gonna go in and weigh in and I'll be back to share my weigh-in results for you with you as well as what we discussed in the workshop. And again, you guys will see this on Friday. So happy Friday, friends. <music> of my WW workshop and it was a fantastic one as always. I was really excited about the topic this week because it's something that is confusing still to people with all of the new plan changeovers and this new plan and that color plan and what's on this plan and what's on that plan. So I was really excited that WW decided to talk about zero point foods and the topic was get to know your zero point foods and I think this comes at a perfect time with the holidays as well as all of the changeovers of the different colors of plans so there are different zero point foods on all three colors as you know the purple the green and the blue plan all have different zero point foods now the purple plan has the most zero point foods at over 300 the blue plan has over 200 zero point foods and the green plan has over 100 zero point foods so we need to to get to know those foods and figure out how to incorporate those into our daily eating. So the first tip with the zero point foods is create a personalized list of zero point foods. On that list, put three of your very, very favorite zero point foods and put three zero point foods that you want to try. And if you didn't know, you can find the list of zero point foods in the My WW book that was given to you with the plan changeovers, also on your app and on the My WW or Weight Watchers website. So go find the list, pick your top three favorite zero point foods, and then again, add a list of three zero point foods that you want to give a try. So for me, I'm on the green plan. So my zero point foods, I have a hundred of them, comprise mostly of fruits and non-starchy vegetables. So I have my favorites. I love berries. I tend to eat a lot of blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. I also love grapes. As far as veggies go, I pretty much love everything. Zucchini, I love squash, delicata squash, Brussels sprouts, you name it. So I can easily come up with three of my favorite zero point foods, but my goal or my challenge for myself is to come up with three zero point foods I've yet to try that I need to add to my list. So the purpose of zero point foods is to help you stay within your daily points budget. Those people that follow the purple plan have the lowest amount of daily points and then blue and then green. So by incorporating those zero point foods into your daily eating, it helps you stay within your daily points because those are zero. And it's most important. And I think the number one tip with zero point foods is to use them as a basis for your meals. I personally don't think that eating an entire meal that is zero points is a very smart decision. And I'm only saying that, and this is my opinion, because I feel that if you do that, then most of us, not all of us, but most of us would use our daily points for things that maybe aren't as healthy of options because we had a zero point lunch. Now we can have a big dessert. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think it's smart to always have zero point meals, but it's definitely the reason behind the zero point foods is to build your meals around them. Use them as snacks. Use them to bulk up your favorite recipes. They are zero points. But also on that same note, be mindful of the portion size of zero point foods, especially things such as fruits or your starchy veggies or on the purple plan your rices your potatoes that type of thing 
because they do have calories and they can add up rather quickly if you overindulge in the zero point foods. Now I say eat all the veggies your little heart can muster because you're very unlikely to overindulge in non-starchy veggies or really build up a high calorie count with your non-starchy veggies. So again, build your list and use those things to bulk up your meals, use those zero point foods as snacks and use them as the foundation of all of your meals. So here's my challenge to you for the week. Add two zero point foods to your menu each day, whether that be in the form of a snack to bulk up your meal or as the foundation of a breakfast, a lunch or a dinner. Really challenge yourself to incorporate those zero point foods a little bit more into your daily eating because again, they are zero points because they are healthy, they are nutritious, they are low calorie, but they are nutrient dense. And so that's why they are deemed as zero point foods. So if you're not a big chicken eater, try to incorporate a little bit more chicken into your meals this week. Pick two meals every day to incorporate a zero point food. If you have a struggle eating the zero point foods because they're just not your favorite things in the whole wide world, then maybe branch out and try something new. You never know what zero point food you might find that becomes your new absolute favorite. So that is the challenge to myself and that is my challenge to you to try to incorporate two zero point foods every day. All right, so let's get into my weigh-in this week. So as you know, I weighed in last Wednesday due to the Thanksgiving holiday. I was not about to weigh in the day after Thanksgiving. And last Wednesday, I was down two pounds, which was awesome and exciting. And then Thanksgiving happened. Uh, as I mentioned, I worked out on Thanksgiving. Holy moly, was that a crazy workout. It was an hour and 10 minutes of jazzercise. I wanted to die. I was sore for like three days afterwards, but I burned 1100 calories before I sat down for Thanksgiving dinner. So that in my opinion is a huge win. Thanksgiving, I indulged. I had what I wanted. I didn't go too incredibly crazy, but I ate what I wanted and I enjoyed my favorite Thanksgiving dishes. And then Friday, I was back on track. And as I mentioned, this week was pretty good so far. It is only Wednesday. You're just seeing this on Friday. And this week's been pretty good. I did have one pretty high point day. It was the day Monday that I just wasn't feeling very well. So I just wanted comfort food all day. Uh, and I have not been to Jazzercise since that big workout on Thanksgiving morning, but I can't wait to go tonight at 4 30 and then I'm heading out of town tomorrow and my goal is I'm going to vlog my entire trip to Seattle so you guys can see what I'm eating when I'm on the road by myself when nobody else is there to take me here or feed me this or feed me that and I'm pretty sure we get fed lunch the day of the class so that's going to be a challenge so I'm going to take you guys along with me on my trip this weekend so all in all it should be pretty good I should stay on track especially when I'm filming I tend to stay on track a little bit better so uh, with that being said, when I stepped on the scale this morning, I was actually up 0.8. And I'm assuming that that is from not only the Thanksgiving food, but also just maybe not being on track on Monday and then really no activity. I did get, I didn't quite get 10,000 steps this week, but yesterday I want to say... It was like 8,000. I spent the day cleaning my house because I was actually feeling a little bit better. So hopefully with going back to Jazzercise and staying on track this weekend on my trip to Seattle, I should see a pretty good loss on the scale next week. So I will take it and I'm going to be implementing a few more of those zero point foods into my week. I'm definitely going to have to use those zero point foods on my trip so that I can stay within my daily points because like I said, I don't know what they're going to feed us and I'm pretty darn sure we're getting fed if not breakfast, lunch, and snacks the day of the class, at least lunch. So of course I'll take you guys along with me. So I wanna hear how did your Thanksgiving go? Did you stay on track? Did you indulge? What did you do? What was your game plan? And how did it pan out for Thanksgiving? And how's it been since Thanksgiving? I've been seeing a lot on Facebook and my Facebook group and other Facebook groups that people are just struggling to get back on track after Thanksgiving. And you guys, this is the hardest time of the year. This is the hardest month of the year. Not only is it Christmas, and I get that Christmas is one, one or two days if you count Christmas Eve, but it's all the holiday festivities, the dinners, the parties, the this, the that, that really help get us off track and stay off track for the entire month of December. And you can do some major damage if you let Christmas and the month of December and the holidays spirit get away from you this month. So I want to know what kind of what your guys's game plan is for the month of December as well. 
of staying on track. So I'm not going to do anything different. I'm going to continue to go to Jazzercise. I'm going to continue to only use my weeklies once a week. Now, it may not be on Saturday. If I have a holiday party on a Friday, that's the day that I'll use my weeklies. And I actually have quite a few holiday events uh, coming up this month. I've got my real estate party. I'm doing a little dinner uh, play with my mom and then I'm having all the girls from my last job over for a like wine and hors d'oeuvre night so I'm gonna have to do some fancy footwork with my weeklies I may divide them up over multiple days but I'm going to do what I always do every other month outside of December once a week use my weeklies continue to exercise continue to track work on those zero point foods I'm gonna try to do the same thing so that at very least I maintain in the month of December. Now, of course, I would love to lose in the month of December, but at very least I would be happy if I could just maintain. So my light went off in my car. It must be light enough out that my car recognizes that. So sorry for the lighting change, guys. But that's my plan for the month of December. So down in the comments, I want to know a couple things. First of all, how did your Thanksgiving go? Did it go as you initially planned for it to go? Also, I want to know how have you done since Thanksgiving? And third, what is your game plan moving into the month of December? So leave all those down in the comments below. And I want to know how'd your weigh-in go as well. So if you struggled over Thanksgiving, if you're continuing to struggle, if you're seeing the number go up on the scale, hang in there, you guys. Hang in there. We have one month left of this year, and then we can make a huge fresh start for 2020. If you're looking for some motivation, some good tips, just some a, a lending ear to listen when you're struggling, head on over to my Facebook group and join us. We just hit 11,000 members and it is really an amazing supportive community. And we are here to help you and answer your questions and give you any tips and tricks that the 11,000 of us can share with you on how to make it through the holiday season. I'd appreciate it if you're new, if you hit that little subscribe button and that bell, that way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd appreciate a big thumbs up as it really helps out my channel. And of course, Leave those comments down below. Let me know Thanksgiving, Christmas. How's everything going for you guys? Happy holidays, you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support over 2019. And let's end this year with a bang and move into 2020 and make it the best year yet. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.